Hello everyone, this message is for July 1st for the collective Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of any sign and all signs. Okay, so let's take a look. The Ace of Swords. Hmm. First card out of the deck. What is the message for the collective for today? July 1st, what is the collective message for today? We have the Eight of Cups. Hmm. The truth is, somebody's walking away from something, and in a big manner. Let's see, we have the Nine of Swords, Remorse and Regret. Here's Rosie joining me in the reading today. She wanted to be right on top of me on my chair, but here she is. She's so sweet. We've already had our walk. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so you're walking away with regret from something. And you have this good, stable energy of the King of Pentacles, but you're releasing. Look at that. All right, judgment card. So we have a new beginning. Ooh, here we go. We have the devil card. The devil card, look at the glitter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so there's a very big message here. We have five of wands energy. Okay, we're gonna pull two more cards and see what we have here. So for some of you, Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Okay. Moving slowly towards the Justice card. Okay. So, we have for you <laughs> a very interesting story. So the message that I'm getting here, I want to be sure with the Heart of the Fairy Oracle before I speak up what I think I'm seeing because it is a very important message. Okay. Heart of the Fairy Oracle, please give us messages for our collective about the decision that they may make in the near future. Pan. There's a part of you that wants to be childlike, throw caution to the winds, you want to leap into the air, you want to go after somebody who has been, who's a very attractive, sexy, enticing person. What I'm seeing here is that you are very inclined, the reality is, is that you want to walk away with regret and remorse from a king of pentacles. Somebody who's kind of boring, somebody who could be very stable, you know, somebody who has, you know, left you feeling like there must be more, right? There must be more with this Eight of Cups card. And it's understandable. The Judgment card indicates that for some of you, you may actually be divorcing from a King of Pentacles energy or you're making the decision to leave them. Again, we have two cards of leaving, again, with, with some remorse and regret, but a lot of clarity, okay? So, the energy that I'm getting is that many of you are being drawn into this random meeting. You had a chance meeting with the devil, and it looks like this devil had their way with you because I get the full card, a new beginning with the devil, okay? So devil energy is Capricorn energy. It always brings about karma. Uh, the devil is always about luring you in to teach you a lesson because it's Capricorn. But look at how, this is a beautiful devil, right? I mean, like who wouldn't like look into the eyes of that devil and just want to spend all the time that this devil would give you? But the devil is like that, right? The devil is a fallen angel. But look at, look at the manipulation down here. So it's very toxic. So what I would say is for those of you who are looking for a new beginning with this very attractive person, there is a warning here. And that warning is that this will be, this is ego driven. This is Leo energy. So it really speaks to the fact that some of your decision to leave a Capricorn King type of person is ego-driven, and you want excitement. You really do. You want it. 
being a chance meeting, many of you feel very much that this is a direction that Spirit is telling you to go in and that it's going to be safe and it's going to be exciting, but it's going to be stable and it might become a marriage. Now, what I'm seeing is that that would be highly unlikely. So for most of you, I feel as though this is something that should be, you should do this very carefully because I'm not seeing this. And this reading, I'm not seeing the energy that says that this is a safe move, that it's a smart move. Let's see what the outcome for you is. If you were to take this offer, which is a very tempting offer, now, for those of you who are thinking about leaving a job for something that seems too good to be true, the answer is it's not what you think it is, okay? So, for those of you who this really is more of a job or career-related reading, it looks as though you're less at risk, but it still is a risk. You could move into a job in which you have a very controlling boss. The devil is a puppeteer. So as a lover, the devil's a puppeteer. As your boss, the devil's a puppeteer. Very much a control freak. Uh, very risky. Quite honestly, quite risky. So let's see what we have here for the shadow deck, the El Goliath, the sacred fire, the rebirthing bonfire. So the message that Spirit is giving you here today is that instead of looking to outside sources that could be toxic, look within. The spirit, spirit is telling you, use your good judgment to look at rebirthing yourself to get the excitement that you want. You know, it's normal to want excitement. We all want that. The Knight of Wands, yeah, the player energy. So even though this devil might be benign and they might not be some horrific person, they are not going to choose you. If you take off and you give up something from the past to start something new, and you basically discard someone, it shows that you're going to have a lot of competition. You're not going to win this competition. So with the Knight of Wands energy and the Devil energy, you may be throwing away a sacred relationship into the fire. So for those of you who are tempted, I would highly suggest, spirit suggesting, actually not me, uh, that... The Eight of Cups energy may lead you to a stairway to nowhere. All right. So, namaste. Have a great day. Bye-bye, Rosie. Say bye-bye. Oh, she's sleeping. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.